working. Today I'm here with my Acer E machine again. Uh, in my last video, I showed you that Mavericks uh, was running fine on this baby after we upgraded from uh, Mountain Lion 8 point something, 10.8 point something. So now um, the question, big question was is it possible to install JustMid on the Acer E machine E720? And the last time that you saw it, it was running Mac OS X 10.9 Mavericks. We're gonna turn the baby on. We wait. Here you can see uh, the screens, the Mac screens. And I will just go for the OS X, because that is the main screen. Here you can see the nice boot logo. I changed that. I could uh, change that in uh, one of the tools of Tony Mac. So, you know, thanks to him, I could like get this team. I can also change it into other teams. So, maximum respect for Tony Mac. You should really check out his uh, website, make an account. He closed the downloads again, probably because I said the last time in my videos, uh, respect to Tony Mac, because he has the only one that has the downloads open. So he closed them again. I think maybe too many people were like going there, downloading free things and not even, you know, leaving no love at the site. So, you know, I show my love through my videos to Tony Mac. To me, he's the same kind of guru like Dino Nuhi is to me. Also the man that created uh, the Windows Lite CDs, DVD installers. Up here we're just gonna log in. And I did have a problem uh, after installing. I had no mouse. Mouse was not working. Keyboard did work, um, but my mouse wasn't working. So I used the external mouse and I fixed it in a way. Here you can see adjustment is uh, booted up. I fixed it in a way but uh, I have a real slow mouse. This is an old man's mouse. You see it's really well it moves slow and uh, there's no way to speed it up. Don't worry I already tried and I'm not gonna keep the system. Uh, let me show you what works. Here you can see that we have the same problem with the screen again. Um, we have the 945. What was that screen? Let's see what it is. The Wi-Fi works. I already told you why. Because uh, I inserted a real AirPod card in this machine. Here you can see that we have a 1024 uh, by 768 screen. So that is not good. That is not the way it should be. So this is in fact uh, a working Mac. But the screen has no, um, how you call that, acceleration and things like that. But of course you can use it to you know do some interneting the mouse is uh, kind of slow if you connect a normal mouse by the way then it works fa fine and I understood that uh, this has to do with adjustment the adjustment does not connect uh, co um, uh, uh, cannot uh, deal with two PS2 ports at the same time and as you know the keyboard is also PS2 so that I got this to work is, is kind of kind of yeah that's why it's kind of slow, I think, because it must uh, use the um, the speed of the yeah of the um, it must it it's divided in two the keyboard and and the mouse is using probably the speed of the PS2 to the mo to the motherboard that is responsible for that part. So um, yeah, you can see news, you can read, uh, you can do everything kind of you know so in fact there's nothing wrong with the system let me show you some specs here about this Mac it's not a Mac it's an Acer E machine E720 but it got the Mac sticker long ago as you can see the Mac sticker even got kind of colored you know by the by the years just because this thing was the first uh, hacking touch machine I ever created in my life and uh, I was really proud of this machine and you know from all the machines just like my real Mac she's not going anywhere um, you can see it's the GM 45 3 megabytes so that is that is not good huh? you can see it's been recognized as a Mac 
MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011 but that is just a setting that I choose for you know this is just what I selected storage and uh, even though it works you will see that I only have two gigabytes of RAM so this is way too little to run Jasmine come on have some common sense you understand this must represent a Mac and you know Macs most of the time these machines have a lot of memory so yeah I can say it works peeps but uh, I'm gonna kill the baby again I want to say thank you for uh, for uh, checking this video of course and uh, also thanks uh, for all the tool makers um, that helped me to create this uh, this what you see here, I will not call them all because it's going to be a long list. But uh, Tony Mac, of course, uh, Hacking Tosh Zone, uh, all you guys there, Niraj, you know, big up to you guys, I add costs. Uh, keep up the good work there and keep schooling the people. And uh, yeah, thanks to these projects, I now have real Macs and do lots of things in Mac as well in Windows, Linux. And uh, yeah, I really like what we're doing here with computers and you don't need the newest devices to you know to reach goals as you could see this is done on a, on a laptop that comes out of the time of the Samsung S1 just look it up can't remember which year that was but it's a while ago when Samsung S1 came on the market and was uh, the phone of the year and uh, again I'm gonna say it in this video said it in my previous video already I got that phone brand new from my provider, looked at it uh, and uh, I was like, oh no, this thing is going to fall out of my hand and I didn't have no dual core laptop at that time. So I advertised with the phone, brand new phone, wanna trade it to a dual core laptop. So a guy called me up and uh, I got this Acer, Acer E-Machine, the E720, still a fantastic machine for uh, these uh, years to use uh, nothing wrong with it and uh, yeah if you give it the right software you will be able to do everything with it but Jasmit is not the right software for this baby even though she runs you know and even though I know people that you know would really love to do testing with it and yeah do many things with it still I would say no uh, although um, the temperature of this machine is really low it's not even 39 degrees it's not blowing it's not doing anything it's way cooler than my real MacBook Pro so thumbs up for that uh, of course Hacking Toss Zone and uh, Niraj and uh, uh, Tony Mac by these guys so thumbs up for them always and uh, see you in my next video if you think this video was interesting of course like subscribe and see you in my next video peace out